Vicka. Tom, I know everybody wants to know what the latest on Gustav is. We have it. This is what we call the critical information summary. These are the coordinates, 25.3 north, 86.0 west. And I'm going to make this uh, relevant to both New Orleans and Alexandria. Uh, it's about 407 miles southeast of downtown New Orleans, or that position is about 570 miles southeast of downtown Alexandria here at New Channel 5. It is moving to the northwest on a compass heading of 320 degrees, and that's important. I like to give that detail because it tells you exactly where the storm is going. The speed of movement is 17, which is a brisk movement. Maximum sustained winds 120, the pressure, central pressure, is 28.41. You combine those, you come up with a Saffir Simpson rating or a category of three. That is considered a major hurricane. It should continue moving to the northwest, certainly in the short term, perhaps move a little to the uh, left or to the west later on after it gets close to land or on land and conditions do favor some strengthening. But let me show you something on Viper 2, Mark, uh, that we, we are optimistic that this will limit the strengthening perhaps. Now, this map shows oceanic heat content and shear, two of the major factors that as tropical forecasters we use to gauge the potential strengthening or weakening of a tropical system. Uh, the red right here, that is part of the loop current. That represents an area in the Gulf of Mexico where there is a tremendous amount of heat available to a tropical system. You know, Gustav is over that area now and will continue to be so for a little while. So that favors strengthening. But due to the satellite presentation, we think the system is getting sheared. And in fact, you can see these lines. The more lines you see and the closer together they are, the more shear there is. And Gustav's path is right here. That's this line. Notice that it takes Gustav into a, an area of about 30 knot shear. That is enough to be detrimental to a tropical system. So what I'm saying is, even though the official forecast from the Hurricane Center is calling for strengthening, and I agree, I think the strengthening is going to have the brakes put on it. I think it's going to be limited by these two factors. And we hope, like Lily, Back in 2002, if you recall, that was a tremendously bad scenario for Louisiana and us. Um, it dropped two categories as it came on shore. So the, each, uh, the oceanic heat content, as you see here, is less. And so as Gustav approaches the shore, we will find that the system, uh, we are optimistic that it will weaken. But we're still expecting a major hurricane strike, and we don't want to minimize, uh, certainly, uh, the uh, potential for any uh, damage or anything like that. In other words, uh, we are saying that uh, this is certainly going to be a significant impact on much uh, of the state of Louisiana. Another thing about these is that the larger hurricanes tend to respond to this more than the smaller hurricanes, and this one will be a little bit larger than normal, or an average, uh, once it hits. So let's go back to Viper 2, uh, Viper 1, and see what's happening there with your radar. Gustav is too far out in the ocean. He's escaping our radars, but we can see the edges. Here's one edge, and here's another. We can see that uh, the southeast coast is already uh, under the influence of Gustav. In fact, if you look outdoors, you see those high clouds. Those are cirrus clouds. They're in the outflow away from the hurricane. So you see that being blown this way by the upper level wind. And so we are already seeing some effects from that here. Uh, and you can see certainly across much of Louisiana. The satellite presentation is ragged. There's a lot of convection on the west side. It's not symmetric. In fact, this is not tremendously well organized, certainly not as well organized as it went across Cuba. You can see certainly an eye feature there from time to time. And there is an eye there, but again, uh, Gustav has gotten sick just a bit. Here's the path of motion, northwest, and then a little bit of a left jog, taking it right into central Louisiana here. Landfall as a category four, uh, hopefully a three, but officially it's a four from the Hurricane Center. That would be about midday tomorrow, south of Homa, and then the path takes it up through here. So here's your landfall position about midday tomorrow uh, as a weakening category four or a three, and then it comes up toward Lafayette as a two, and then into central Louisiana, you can see the center line. Uh, that is the uh, path that we expected to uh, take, but certainly there's still some room for air. And that takes it right up uh, very close to uh, Opelousas, right over Oakdale nearly, and then headed right in toward Leesville. And so on that path, uh, there are several things that we're going to worry about. Remember, hurricanes bring three threats to inland areas. One of those threats, and the most dangerous, is flooding. Uh, on this path, and the projected speed of movement, somebody could get 20 inches of rain from this. That will cause tremendous flooding in some areas. Not everybody will get that, but there's certainly potential for that much. With this track, we will also be under the gun for damaging wind, especially in that area down south toward Opelousas, uh, Oakdale, uh, of Oils Parish. And I am working on trying to get more details uh, from a forecasting standpoint for you to tell you how much wind you can expect in your city. I am working on that. It'll take me a while to get that, but I will promise that uh, for later this afternoon. 
The other thing is with this path, you can see that much of central Louisiana is near the center path or just to the right of it. That puts us at an increased risk for tornadoes. So those three things, tornadoes, damaging non-tornadic wind, and flooding, those are the things that we're going to have to worry about uh, with this system. So, Michelle, that's it from the Weather Center right now. We'll have our next update in just a bit, right? Absolutely, Tom. Thanks so much. Now, I'm going to complete this.